Hi everyone, here is another video. With blacksmithing, especially as a one-person operation, I frequently need to make more tools. I just started making some kitchen knives again and realized that I no longer had dice for the blacksmith helper to isolate metal. I usually rely on the dice you see here, which are round, but sometimes I need a very sharp transition to forge a right angle. In this case, for the bolster of the knife, something like what you see in the picture. The blacksmith helper makes a lot of tasks much easier, but making the dice is not something I enjoy. In this case, I want to make split dice. Half of the dice are to forge in a chisel shape and the other half will just be completely flat. You will see later in the short demo why I need this. I am using mild steel bar which is 3 quarter inch thick and 2 and a half inch wide. The total length counting both dies is about 7 and a half inches. The bottom die is two and a half inches long and the top die is five inches long. As I am looking for a 45 degree angle, I'm marking a line three quarters of an inch away from the cut end of each die. The main challenge will be to cleanly remove the extra metal. I'm thinking that I will establish the separation between the chisel and the flat die with a saw and then grind and file off the excess metal. To do that, I'm clamping the die at a 45 degree angle into my leg vise and then we'll try to cut with the metal saw horizontally to the floor. Let's see if I can do that. This looks pretty good, and now I have a clean separation that allows me to take the die to the grinder without the risk of grinding into the flat part of the die. Overall, I was quite surprised how quickly I was able to make these dies. I'd expected it would take much longer. The only work that is remaining is to chamfer and round off the sharp transitions, and then I will try to case harden the dice. With case hardening, the outer surface of the steel is carburized and then quenched. This creates a hard outer shell that hopefully will mean that the dice are going to last longer. Before I can do that though, I need to make sure that all surfaces are free of scale, or at least the working parts of the dice are clean. This looks quite good. I must forewarn you, I almost never case harden and never heard a sharp snapping sound when quenching. So let's see how this goes. The principle behind case hardening is carbon migration. At high heats, carbon in the steel will migrate to areas of lower carbon. So once the dice are glowing orange, I will apply a powder that is very high in carbon content and then let it soak in for a bit. In theory, some of the carbon should migrate into the surface of the steel and lead to a carbon content high enough to harden the steel, at least right at the surface. Oops, this is what happens when not using the right tongs. Fortunately, since this is mild steel, extra quenching is not really a problem here. Once the case hardening powder has been applied, the steel needs to soak a little bit to give time for carbon migration. 
During quenching, I have been told that it's possible to hear a crack, but I've never heard that myself. Hardened or not, these dice should work just fine. You can see from how I'm holding the tongs that these tongs are not a good fit for the thick bar either. But since this was just a one-time operation, I did not want to adjust them, even though it would have just taken a few minutes. For the bottom die, I don't plan on dropping it again, and I'm just repeating the steps I followed for the top die. Before testing the dice and the blacksmith helper, I want to clean off some of the scale that built up during case hardening. Here we go, let's test them out. I will heat up a small piece of round bar and use the chisel part of the dice to isolate material and then use the flat dice to forge the transition flat. This should lead to a square corner. Here you can see how the 45 degree angle leads to a very sharp transition. Now let's forge it flat. To get this right, I need to align the transition point with the square dice. Alright, for the purposes of this demo, here's the shape I was aiming for. This was not really the video I had planned on making, but with this tool finished, I can go back to making a really cool little kitchen knife. You will see it in my next video. The forging is all done, and I just need to put the handle scales on and finish grinding it. As always, thanks to everyone on Patreon. You can check out in progress pictures and updates there. I am recording this video during very uncertain times. In my county, we just received a shelter in place order to slow down the spread of COVID-19. Please take good care of yourself and your family. I will see you next time.